December 31st, 2023, and today's Mariner of the Day is not a player for the Mariners, it's a manager for the Mariners. Lou Pinea, who guided the Mariners to some of their greatest seasons, was the first man to make the Mariners make the playoffs. He unfortunately did not win a World Series with them. In 3,548 games, he won 1,835 of them and lost 1,713 across multiple teams. Now, he did win multiple World Series. He is currently 80 years old little over 80 years old, had a couple of years with the Yankees, a couple of years with the Reds, where he won the World Series in 1990. Uh, and then from 1993 to 2002, he was with the Mariners, where he made four of the team's five postseason appearances. He also was the manager in 2001, when the Mariners went 116 and 46 for a 716 winning percentage, but only a 400 winning percentage in the postseason, which was unfortunate. He then went on to what was then known as the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and the Chicago Cubs, winning win pennant and one World Series over a course of 23 years. Uh, excellent manager, and he did get ejected a lot, which was kind of cool. You want your manager to be somebody like that. He did play 16 seasons in Major League Baseball with the Orioles, Cleveland Guardians, Kansas City Royals, and Yankees. He was named a Rookie of the Year and won two World Series championships with the Yankees in 77 and 78. He became a manager of the Yankees. He's from Tampa. Asturian. Um, and played American Legion Baseball and Pony League Baseball in Florida. His last Major League Baseball appearance was June 16, 1984 for the Yankees, and his first was September 4, 1964 for the Orioles. So he was a September call-up, batting average 291 with 102 homers, 766 runs batted in, and a 517 winning percentage as a manager. Wonderful man. Um... He did go on to broadcast for a little bit uh, on MSG Network for the Yankees, and he also was with Joe Buck and Tim McGarver for Fox Sports for a couple of years. He is now back on Yes. I'm sorry, he's no longer back on Yes. He went back on Yes in 2012, and he's been married since 1967. They have three children. He did unfortunately suffer what was called a mini-stroke, or a TSI, in 2017, but has uh, sufficiently recovered and is currently working as a senior advisor to the C Cincinnati Reds. He's been a candidate for election to the Baseball Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee three times, 2016, 2018, and this year. He has failed to be elect elected. He received 11 of 12 votes in 2018. And then again this year, he received 11 votes, meaning he was one short of what he needed to make the Hall of Fame. I do believe that he should be in the Hall of Fame because I do believe he's actually in the top five of managerial wins. Connie Mack, Tony La Russa, John McGraw, Bobby Cox, Joe Torre, Sparky Anderson, Dusty Baker, Bucky Harris, Joe McCarty, Bruce Bakke. Whoa, okay, he's actually not. He's 17th in managerial wins, but... He only needed, like, 165 more to break into the top 10. Or, I'm sorry, not top 10. Yeah, like, about 165 more and he would have been top 10. So, like, two more seasons and he would have been. But I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. As there are managers in here in the Hall of Fame. Win percentage is 663 is the highest. But that was... What? Excuse me, Vic Harris, who only managed 845 games. Joe McCarthy managed 3,487 games and won 2,100 of them. 2,125. Absolutely amazing what he was able to do and what he meant to the Mariners getting us to the playoffs for the first time. Uh, oftentimes, when we have a problem with our current manager, Scott Cervais, for not you know, getting into the face of other teams or the umpire when people keep hitting our guys with pitches, we compare them to him and hope that he or somebody like him comes and manages the Mariners again.